Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. And we're at the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois, the greatest muscle car show in the entire nation. And I'm here with Bill. Hi, Lou, Bill Wertheim from Bill Clarence Wertheim. Center, New York. From Clarence Center, New York. So I'll take the camera. Thank you, Chuck, as I usually do. Bill, come on with me for a second. Let me just get, get Bill here. There we go, come on with me. And uh, stand right next to me, right next to me. What did you bring here today? Well, Lou, this is a 1967 Beaumont SD396 convertible. It's one of 66 built. There were no Beaumonts ever sold in the United States. And why is that? Well, it's an interesting story. First of all, where's the Beaumont come from? The Beaumont is a Canadian car. Canadian this particular car. car is from Ottawa, Ontario. And by the way, check out the Canadian leaves in the yep, front there. See the maple leaves? There's some maple leaves on various different spots on the car. <laughs> Let's take an overall shot of the side of the car. And the people, hood. People aren't real sure. Is it a Pontiac? Is it a Chevrolet? They're not real sure because it looks like a Chevelle. Yeah. But then it has a Pontiac style split front grille. Come on, has the strange side gills on the side. Has so, a very unique wheel cover uh, center caps that are only for Beaumonts. Has the V8 emblem on there because these cars uh, were available with 396s. Either three and a quarter horse or 350 horse for the 67 and 68. Now here's the big question. It's the only Beaumont at the Muscle Car Show. Why, why, how did you get collecting Beaumonts? Well, strange story. My dad was a, a big car guy, so I grew up around cars. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I was able to spend a life where my dad collected Kaisers. Kaisers. So my whole childhood, <laughs> I was around Henry J's and Frasers and Kaisers because cool. he wanted something weird and unique. Yeah. And I thought as a young kid playing hockey in Calgary, I saw these cool Canadian cars. And I said, maybe I could talk dad into a Boma. And uh, as a 16 year old, I was able to do it. I got to drive one of my first cars was a 68 Beaumont that I talked him into buying. And uh, as I was blessed later in life, I got to be able to buy some Beaumonts myself. And now I got a bunch of them. How many, is, usually, how many is a bunch of Beaumonts? A bunch of Beaumonts is four. <laughs> and I am lucky enough to wow. have uh, 68, 67, and 66. So that's all the years of Beaumonts, isn't it? Well, those are the years that they had the big block SDs. They did have Beaumonts starting in 62, Acadian Beaumonts. Okay. Built on the Nova body. Okay. And then in 64, they had them built with the Chevelle body. Okay. Let's uh, let's go in, here, go in this way. Okay. And we're going to actually... Can I get a chance to open that door next to you? Sorry about that. Go ahead. Thank you. Open that door. Thanks. And... It looks like... Uh, well, we're back on the theme of is it a Pontiac, is it a Chevrolet, yeah, and, it, right. and it's neither. But if you look at the dashboard, the dashboard is right out of the Le Mans. The seats are Chevelle. Um, unique Canadian horn. Yeah. Obviously, you're only going to see that in a Beaumont, the Beaumont-specific radio. Um, this car is a Turbo 400. They did come with four speeds uh, as well, and some of the years had three speeds. Uh, as standard equipment. Well, it looks great. Well, thank you. And it uh, has kind of a GTO emblem over there that actually yep, says... GTO looking emblem that Sport says Deluxe. Sport Deluxe. And that's what SD stands for. Most people think SD Pontiac, Super Duty, Super Duty sure. but it's Sport Deluxe. And uh, just... Uh, regular miles per hour, right? Or is it... Yep, is nope, it, regular miles per hour. So it's not kilometers. Not kilometers. And those are the original miles that are on the car. I'll take my time kind of going there. Okay, and what, what's this knob up here? Right there. That is the power top. Oh yeah, okay, original sure. Original power top. Yeah, yep. we got a convertible, right? It is a convertible. Okay, yep. let's take a look under the hood. Sure. Is there anything on the inside of the door there? Let me grab grab that. That's a GM emblem. Yep, okay. GM emblem. This is the original 396, three and a quarter horse that the car was born with. Um, no Tonawanda engine sticker because the Tonawanda engine stickers said Chevrolet on them. Okay. But this was a motor from Tonawanda. It just didn't have the sticker on it. 
Um, here's your oil sticker for Canada over here on the left. Give me one second to see that. Okay. Kind of taking my time hitting the badge back there on the firewall. Yep. Show me that. Uh, this is your little oil chain sticker that Canadian cars had on them. You can see on the bottom it talks about uh, Oshawa, Ontario. That's where the car was built. So you brought this all the way back to stock? Yes, this was restored at the stock restoration. Uh, this particular car does get driven. It's not a trailer queen. Uh, we probably put on a couple thousand miles a year, taking it out for ice cream and taking the kids out. And, uh, I taught my oldest daughter to drive in it. Really? So. Stand right next to it. So, so who's, who's your oldest daughter? Uh, my oldest daughter is Taylor. She's at Kent State University. She is a junior there. And I have three more children coming, and they all get to drive the car. All right, so I want, to, I want the camera to look at your face when I ask this next question. So are oh. you nervous at all when they drive the car? No, I trust them. <laughs> I, they're, they're more nervous than I am, so right. they're good kids. All right, excellent. Let's shut the hood. All right. Let's stay right next to it. Bill, thanks for being on my car store. My pleasure. Thanks, Lou.